welcome back to Obermatt Stock Investing. This is the second season of our series of investing in stocks with the Obermatt method. You remember in the first season we invested 100,000 francs in 20 shares of around 5,000 francs each. We, did, we, didn't did, we didn't do this in one go, we did it over 20 weeks or over 20 sessions actually over the span of about nine months. We believe this is a safe way of investing. You know, independent of the, what the markets do, you invest a small amount of your total uh, investment amount into a stock at any point in time and then you wait again for a later point in time. Now here the second season we do the same thing. We invest 100,000 Swiss francs in 20 stocks in Europe. This is our goal. And we do this by looking at the Obermatt top 10 stocks that come out each week. And what we see here for this week, it's Australia and the USA. There is no top 10 list for Europe. So what I'm doing is I'm going to look at the focus markets and the focus markets actually have this week on March 18, the Web Leaders Europe. These are family friendly stocks. I go to the family friendly stocks I see what the top 10 stocks are. I can already see here on the value top 10 list. This is the value list for the top 10 stocks. That Daimler is on top, followed by Swiss 3, two Swiss companies, Novartis as well. And I like to invest in Novartis. And there is a reason for that, because in Switzerland, we had an initiative that would have closed the Swiss borders. And that would have been quite bad for the economy. You know, the prices would go up, demand would decrease, unemployment would go up, and companies like Novartis would have no way of hiring the experts that they need to continue their growth. So, since you know this initiative was voted down uh, for a couple, uh, a couple of weeks ago, it looks now a lot better. Switzerland stays open, and I believe this is an important aspect for an investor. You know, the, how open a country is determines the returns for the investors. And when I invested, you know, in my first season last year in Nestle, at the beginning of that season, I didn't invest in many other Swiss stocks anymore just for that reason, because I was worried Switzerland closes its borders and that would be really, really bad for me as an investor. So I'm gonna look at Novartis, gonna look what they have here. The most important thing is the summary that you see here. The latest Obermatt ranks are the value rank 100, Growth rank is pretty bad. There's no growth there. Safety rank is bad. Let's have a look. Uh, it's good actually. So the combined rank is quite good with 93. Let's look at the safety at the growth ranks and why these you know why these ranks are so bad. Actually, as a matter of fact, growth has been bad for a couple of years now, except for 2015 where there was a recovery in profits. But over most other years, you know. Growth has been really bad at this quite famous Swiss company. And the reason is quite simple. If you Google it, you find out quickly. The reason was Daniel Vazella. He was um, an important person in the company for quite a while, and he did a lot of value destructive things. As, as a matter of fact, when he left, you know, what people told about him in the investment community, basically, is that he was associated with really expensive acquisitions that were value destructive for the economy. So now that Daniel Vasella is gone, we are left with a really great company, Novartis, and I think that's a really good reason for me to invest, especially because if you look at the value metrics, you know, all value metrics are really good. Price versus revenues, profits, capital is all low, which means we're getting a lot of revenues, get a lot of profits, a lot of capital um, when we invest in Novartis. This is the reason why my first stock for the second season is Novartis. I'm going to invest 5,000 francs in this company and you will see that next week when we are back with our Obermott stock investing. I wish you good luck with your own investments because if you do it yourself, you know what you have. Bye-bye.